Hey guys, have you ever wished you could pick a handful of dirt off of the ground, throw it into your washing machine, run that bad boy, and find a diamond sitting in it when it's finished? I know I've never even thought about doing that before writing this hook into my script, and if anyone said yes to that question, why? I'd be able to see something in that dirt I picked up. Dude, where's the money? While what I've described isn't a mechanic of real life, this is essentially what the furniture item in Terraria called the Extractinator does. You can find it in wooden crates, frozen chests, golden chests, and other chests. So basically they're all over your world and it really would be a surprise not to find one in a playthrough. When placed, you can use it to convert silt, slush, desert fossils, glowing mosses, and fishing junk into more valuable items. You can't actually use dirt with this item, so sorry for spreading false information, but I didn't happen to have actual silt in my backyard, so I had to make do. Man, the outdoors is nice, but I actually just came out here to grab a handful of dirt. What am I doing? The Extractinator is cool, but in 1.4.4, we actually got an upgrade for this item, the Chlorophyte Extractinator. It's a post-mech boss item that's pretty simple to craft, just needing an Extractinator and 18 Chlorophyte bars at a hard mode anvil, at which point you end up with this machine that really looks like it could produce something very dangerous. We're gonna get into some money making with this new item, but before that, the Chlorophyte Extractinator actually has an extremely convenient mechanic that I wanna mention that I believe is completely novel in the base game which is the ability to change certain types of blocks or materials into other interchangeable versions of those blocks and materials. You can turn the infected variants of stone, sand, ice, sandstone, and hardened sandstone blocks back into their purified versions. Dungeon bricks can be turned into other kinds of dungeon bricks in a cycle. And my favorite form of this function, you can turn ores and bars into their alternate versions, which really is just something that I feel like should be in the game, and is a mechanic included in multiple mods that I've really appreciated using throughout the years. Aside from processing items faster than the basic extractinator, which ends up being important as you might have already gathered, the only other changes that the chlorophyte extractinator has are that it can produce hard mode ores from silt, slush, and desert fossils, and can turn glowing mosses into other glowing moss types, where the normal extractinator can only turn them into normal mosses. After taking a look at this item, I knew I wanted to make a video about it, and the very first thing that popped into my head was, what if I just put a lot of silt into this thing? So that's exactly what I decided to do. There isn't much else to it. There's 500,000 silt in these two chests. I'm gonna run every single piece through the Chlorophyte Extractinator and we're gonna see what we get and how much money we make out of it. So I got out my auto clicker and wow. This is gonna take a while. I don't know if there's a way to get huge stacks in 1.4.4, but it sure would have been nice to be able to put all 500,000 blocks into one stack, because even though stacks are larger by default in this version of the game, I still had to micromanage this activity and sit around my room for over seven hours straight, changing from stack to stack. And boy howdy, did it feel like a waste of time, but I did it anyways. Wow. Is that my soul that I see floating away into the distance? Now that my whole afternoon has wasted away and my eyes have melted out of my skull, we can take a look into the chests containing our final item count. And you can see that we got a lot of stuff. Over a full stack of every single ore, thousands and thousands of gems, over 115 platinum coins before even selling anything, and over a full chest of amber mosquitoes. I'm going to turn all of the ores into bars to give us a better idea of just how many materials we obtained, which you can see here, and it's pretty impressive which I sure hope would be the case after spending seven hours doing this shit. The final step is to build a little house and get our good friend the merchant to move in and sell all of our spoils. After pawning off all 47 of our amber mosquitoes to this avid collector of ancient goods, we end up with a grand total cash out of 288 platinum, 14 gold, 22 silver, and 91 bronze coins. That's a lot of money. I would have expected it to produce a lot more than the extractinator, but honestly, it's not as much of a difference as I would have Thought, which I calculated using this neat average sales table that I found for the extractinator on the Terraria wiki. If you use the total average per 1000 blocks extractinated without crafting for silt and slush, multiply it by 500 because we used 500,000 blocks, and then divide it by 100 because we're calculating for platinum coins and not gold, you get about 202 platinum coins on average for the amount of silt that we used, where we ended up with 288 actually utilizing the chlorified extractinator. So we get a gain of 80 
86 platinum coins in this case, which isn't that much more, but I mean, who's gonna scoff at 86 platinum coins? It's pretty cool viewing the results and seeing the new item in practice. As much of a slog it was, I had fun with the video concept, and this really is just yet another fantastic addition that the devs made to the game in the 1.4.4 update, creating an upgrade for an item like the Extractinator that really feels much better and more useful than the original, but isn't overkill in any way, really knocking it out of the park. With that, we're gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.